Another All Black is Europe bound, but this time it's hit closer to home. Gordon Finlater explains. It's official. Canterbury Crusader and All Black Colin Slade is heading to France at the end of the year to take up a three-year contract with French side Poe. The three-year deal is rumoured to be worth around three quarters of a million dollars a year. For Slade, it's a case of the hard work paying off. Yeah, I suppose it's a, it's a bit of a reward, I suppose, for, for the hard work that I've put in. And obviously, I've had my tough times and I've, and I've fought back from that. Um, you know, that was one thing that I was pretty determined not to go overseas when everything fell to pieces for me injury-wise. I, I thought, you know, I want to I want to prove a point that I can get back to the level I'm, I'm capable of. And, you know, I feel I'm, I'm doing that. I've, uh, I've obviously uh, gotten back into the All Blacks was, was a huge uh, goal of mine. And, um, and you're right to be... To be recognised, I suppose, by some interest overseas is, is a um, testament to that, that I've been able to get back to, to a quality level. Slade now joins the growing list of All Blacks heading overseas. New Zealand rugby couldn't do enough to keep the player in the country, and now Steve Hansen's options are looking that bit slimmer post-Rugby World Cup. You know, he obviously did everything he could to try and make me stay, um, but you know, and he did a really good job with him with New Zealand rugby. Did a really good job at putting together something together that would uh, you know, make me stay. But um, you know, ultimately, he came to, to a decision that that, uh, that I wanted to make, and that was to go overseas. The last 12 months have arguably been Slade's most impressive, with many suggesting his recent form has him as the country's best number 10. Fighting for that number one spot was something considered in his decision. Oh, look, it certainly crossed my mind, but um, again, New Zealand rugby, there's no guarantees. Um, there's quality players everywhere. There's, there's, you know, as far as that, my position is concerned, there's still you know, more guys there. Um, obviously, the two, Bodie and, and Crudz, are still going to be there after after World Cup, so nothing was a, nothing was a given. Um, you wouldn't expect it to be, but that's just the reality of it. So, you know, I had to weigh that up. Um, you know, I've obviously been fighting for a spot for a while now, but... Um, you know, I feel like I've, I've fought long enough and um, now it's time to, to try a different uh, opportunity. Slade joins Dan Carter and Tom Taylor making the move, leaving an unfamiliar gap at first five and with other senior players seemingly Europe bound, Crusaders coach Todd Blackadder could easily find next year's recruitment a daunting process. Well, I think we've done a marvellous job, to be honest, and especially here of keeping the squad together as long as we have with all of the experience for the last five or six years. And hey, there's going to be an exodus at the end of this year. And maybe that's a really good thing for this organisation. Maybe it's really good to have a, a bloody good clean out and start again. You know, we've got a lot of guys who are, who are in the All Blacks, a lot of experience. And maybe it's a good opportunity for some young guys to put their hand up and for us to start again almost. So all there is to do now is a touch up on some French. Obviously something I'll need to do, there's plenty of uh, boxes to take I suppose and, and learning, learning the French, French language is one of them, you know, get stuck into that, that's uh, one thing I'm definitely committed to doing, get some, uh, get some lessons, so if there's any tutors out there, you're yeah, more than welcome to get in touch and uh, you know, me and my wife would love to speak it, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Gordon Findlater, CTV Sport.